Hey everybody, this is a video for learning Old Joe Clark. You can start with your violin in rest position, your feet spread apart, your hips nice and balanced. Let's take our violins out on our shoulders. Make sure you can hold your violin without your hands. Make sure it's balanced. Don't want our violin leaning forward. Don't want our violin too far back. You should have a nice balanced instrument. Get your fingers set on your bow. Make sure you wrap them all the way around. Put your violin, check your thumb, check your knuckle. Okay, here we go. Old Joe Clark starts with four notes at the beginning, and we're going to use C instead of C sharp, which means our two is gonna be next to our B, our one finger. Sounds like this. Can you try that? Good. Let me play this again. Sorry. Can you try? Good. Hold your shoulder of your violin for a second. Keep it up on your shoulder, but you can let your jaw a second. We're going to sing the notes together. Can you try that with me? A, B, C, B. Good, awesome. All right, now get your hands out again. Let's play it together. Get onto the A string, get your elbow up to the A level. One, two, ready, go. Good, okay, those are the first four notes of old Joe Clark. Now we're gonna learn the next three notes. So we're gonna lock those notes away in our brain. We're gonna remember what they were because we're gonna come back to them and put them together. But that's the first four notes. Now let's learn the next three notes. They um, are a little trickier because we're gonna put down one, two, three on the D string pretty quick. It goes like this. One, two, three. So you went A, three, two, let me play it one more time. One, two, three. Now you try it. Good, let me play it again. One, two, three. Your try. Hold your shoulder of your violin. Keep it up there, but let's just sing it together. One, two, ready, go. A, G, F sharp. Sing it again. Ready, go. A, G, F sharp. Now I'll play it while you set your hand. Your turn. Good. So let's sing all that together. Hold the shoulder, keep it up there, but let's sing that all together starting with A. One, two, ready, go. A, B, C, B, A, G, F sharp. Let's do it again. Ready, go. A, B, C, B, A, G, F sharp. Good. Let me play it, the whole thing, and then you're going to copy after me. You can watch my fingers if that helps you. All right, what I'd like for you to do is pause the video. That's all we're gonna do for today. But I want you to go and practice that so that you can play it five times in a row without making a mistake. Now that might've been easy for you, in which case you can go play five times in a row right now. Some of you might need to spend more time working on it so that you can play it five times in a row without a mistake. Once you can play it five times in a row without a mistake, you're good on this song for today. And you can come back tomorrow for day two.
Hi guys, welcome to day two of practice. We're gonna start in rest position. This is old Joe Clark, spread your feet apart. Get your violin out, up on your shoulder. Lock it in with your jaw. Remember the violin rest, the shoulder rest comes down on the shoulder and the jaw locks it in. Make sure you can hold your violin without using your hand. Make sure your fingers are wrapped around your bow. We're gonna put our hand in its correct position and we got our thumb there. First, let's just review what we did yesterday. You can play it with me. Here we go, it starts on A. Get your elbow up to A level. One, two, ready, go. Good, let's try that again together. One, two, ready, go. Good job. All right, this next section is really easy. Let me play it and you tell me what notes were different. Here's how it goes. Did you hear what's different? Go ahead, tell the camera, pretend like I can hear it. It's good for your brain. Yeah, so the difference is that instead of going A, G, F sharp, we just stay on the A and we play two half note A's. Ta -ra, ta -ra. So all together it sounds like this. See if you can play that. Good, let's try playing it together. Get your hands set, get your bow on the A string, wrap your fingers over your bow, make sure your elbow's at the right height for the A string. One, two, ready, go. Awesome, so now if we put both those sections together, the section we learned at your last practice and this section, let me play it for you. You can put your violin in rest position. This is what it would sound like. Okay, so now let's see if we can play that together. We'll slow down a little bit and put both those sections together. Are you ready? Put your violin up, make sure it's locked in that you can hold it without your hand. Put your hand back, check your thumb and your knuckle. Make sure that your wrist isn't up, that it's relaxed. Elbow is just swimming along under the violin. We got our fingers over our bow on the A string. Elbow up, nice and slow. One, two, ready, go. So what I'd like for you to do is to turn the vi or pause the video and go practice that so that you can do it three times in a row, the correct, the correct rhythms, the, uh, the correct bow changes, the correct strings. And once you can do that three times in a row, you're done with Old Joe Clark for today. We'll come back tomorrow and do the next day of Old Joe Clark.
Hi guys, welcome to day three of Old Joe Clark practice. Spread your feet apart, get your violin out, put the shoulder rest down on your shoulder and then lock the instrument in with your jaw. Make sure you can hold the violin without help from your hand. Then put your thumb and your knuckle where they belong. We're gonna start by playing what we learned yesterday, starting on the A string. Remember, we've learned two sections so far. One, two, ready, go. trouble with that you can actually go back and um, practice that until you can play it with the video all right I'm assuming that you can play that without a mistake if you're still watching so we could talk about that section as one section where it goes a G F sharp and then a two section where it stays on the a string all right so let's think about it as a one section a B C B A G F sharp, and then we have a two section. A, B, C, B, A, A. All right, so in this song, we have a one, two, one, three. All right, just for the first half of the song, that's the pattern. One, two, one, three. And that group of numbers makes up the A section. So if you notice, one is repeated. We have one, then we have two, then we have one, and then we have three, okay? So if we're gonna play one, two, one, this is what it would sound like. Yesterday we learned to play one and two, but now we're gonna go back to the one. So listen, hold up your finger for each section that you hear. So you should start with one. Here we go. goes we did the one section then we played the two section then we went back and did the one section again so we need to do that together playing through the song so I'll call out the sections as we go we're gonna do this a few times together before we learn the last section all right here we go a string you got your violin up get your hand where it needs to be set make sure your elbows at the right level your fingers wrapped around the bow we're starting with the one section where it goes to the D string one, two, ready, go. Let's try it one more time together and then you're going to practice it by yourself. Go to the A string. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One. the video I want you to practice that so that you can play it all the way through three times if you need to go back and watch the video you can and play it with me then tomorrow I'll come back and we're gonna learn section three which is the last section of a
Okay guys, this is the last section that we are going to be working on this week. Um, so yesterday we worked on going back to the section number one. So we had one, two, one. And remember the A section, like the big A, the whole first half of the song goes one, two, one, three. The only part we haven't learned is three. So we're gonna start off by just learning three, then we're gonna try putting into all of it. Get your violin out, up on your shoulder. Make sure your jaw locks it in. Remember your jaw holds the violin, not your hand. Check your thumb and your knuckle that they're in the right spot. We're gonna start on the D string. So you can put your bow on the D string, elbow up to the D string. Here's how the first note goes. Can you find that note? Yes, it was D. Okay, here's the first two notes. It's your two finger, try it. Okay, so when you do that, you have to also put down one. So you're putting down one and two at the same time. Let's try that again. You try. Okay. Now, after that, we're gonna go to our one finger. Sounds like this. Can you try that? Good, all right. Now, the last thing that we add on is a D. So listen. Let me play it again for you. Your turn. Good, let's sing it together. Starts on D. One, two, ready, go. D, F sharp, E. E, D, D. Let's try that again. Ready, go. D, F sharp, E, E, D, D. Excellent. All right, so um, now we need to put one, two, one, and add on three. So let's try it really slowly together. I'll call out the sections as we go, and we'll go extra slow when we get to the new section. Get your violin up, check your knuckle and your thumb. Your wrist is back and relaxed. Fingers are wrapped around the bow, elbow is up to the A string. Here we go, section one. One, two, ready, go. If you had trouble with that, especially if you didn't remember section three, go back to the beginning of this video and review section three until you're comfortable with it. Then come back and let's do it one last time together, all together. A string, one, two, ready, go. Now what I want you to do is pause the video. That's it for this week. Go ahead and practice that until you're ready to play it for me in your lesson. So practice through it until you're comfortable and remember all the sections. Remember, you can always go back in this video and find the section you're having trouble with and relearn it. All right, see you guys in the lesson.